foundation of our brows are done, I'm now going to take my NARS Concealer in Caramel and my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Tossy. I'm going to use an angled brush to go ahead and outline the bottom of my brow. And then we're going to just do the same and blend the excess upwards. Smooth out the edges. As an eyeshadow base, I'm going to be going in with the Tarte Concealer in the color Medium Tan Neutral. And we're going to blend that in with the Lily Blush. Okay, so there we have it. We look kind of crazy, but for good reason, of course. We're going to be using the Morphe Boss Mode 35M palette. So you're going to take your blending brush and you're going to go into this orange color right here. Start off at your crease. And just use circular motion to blend that color in. Now we're gonna go into our Morphe 35B Setting Box palette and take this darker tone right here. It's like this dark plum brown type of color. We're gonna take a little bit of this and focus it in our crease. back into the blending brush that we used for the orange and just blend out any harsh lines. We're now going to go into our Morphe 15B Brunch Bag Palette color Bottomless Mimosas and use that for our lid. I'm going to get a flat brush, spray a little bit of my Mario Badescu spray. For a lot. And then we're just going to use this on top of our lid. I'm gonna go back into my Boss Move palette and use the orange that we first started off with just to make sure that none of it was lost in the process. I'm gonna go into my Heavy Metal Glitter Pigment by Urban Decay. It's a glitter eyeliner stick and I'm just gonna use a very little bit of this across half of the crease of my eye. Bridal makeup tends to be very natural and glowy looking, so I don't want to overdo it. Next, we're going to use some liquid eyeliner, waterproof specifically, and just create a little wing. I'm not going to go too dramatic with the wing because um, I want to make sure to keep it simple. and apply my lashes do my other eye and then I'll be right back our eyes are done and we have our lashes on what I'm going to do next is go into my water lid with this very pretty nude color and what this does to me is just gives like a softness to your makeup look that I feel like it's just so cute so we're just gonna go into the waterline brownish plum color and go under my waterline with this look you can technically stop right here but i want to go ahead and add this new color into the inner corners of my eye for my foundation i'm going to be using my current fave by covergirl which is the true blend matte made foundation i love a good matte foundation <laughs> And for bridal makeup specifically, you may want to go the matte route just so that you don't risk getting too oily or cakey or anything like that. One of my biggest tips for bridal makeup will also be to use waterproof everything. I know weddings are um, the events that people tend to shed a lot of tears at, especially the bride and her family. So my little piece of advice would just be to make sure that you have as much waterproof makeup 
as you can. Next, I'm gonna be going in with my NARS Concealer and Caramel. This is gonna be for my highlight shade. Now, I'm actually gonna let this sit and get a little bit tacky because I feel like that's when you really get the product to stay and seep into your skin. While it's getting tacky, I'm just gonna go back in with my brow by Anastasia and just put a little bit more product toward the inner brow. I don't know if it's just me, but it's like in the midst of doing all the rest of my makeup after my brows, they somehow just like kind of tend to disappear as I get further along. So now I'm gonna use my little mini beauty blender and just get my highlighted areas. cream contour if you like however and it would be more beneficial to use cream contour and then go over with the powder contour but I lost my cream contour stick so um, I've been using this shade here I'm just gonna go back into my mini beauty blender and soften out the rest of you because we want a soft contour we don't really want a harsh contour take my angled brush and go into my cheekbones. I'm going to use the same contour color that I used for my nose. Also make sure to get your jawline. We have our highlight and contour on. I'm now going to go into my Huda Beauty powder in the color Blondie. You never want to put powder over creased areas though. Just make sure you blend out the creases first and then go ahead with your powder. I'm gonna go ahead with this same beauty blender and smooth out any of my powder lines. So now we're all beautiful and mattified. I'm going to go into my MAC Studio Press Powder in Dark Deep and just very lightly powder up my target areas. All coming together, everything is looking. We're not even done yet and I already look like I'm ready to walk down the aisle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's time for one of my favorite parts, which is the highlight. I'm going to go into an Odie But Goodie, which is the Becca highlight in Champagne Pop. And I'm going to use my fluffy brush for my brush. And this just makes sure that you get a very pigmented highlight. Just a little bit. So excess. I'm going to take my loose pigmented highlight by Dollhouse Cosmetics in the color Ambition and just put that very lightly over my Becca Champagne Pop. What I like about this highlight is that it has more of a golden to it, whereas the Champagne Pop has, of course, more of a beige undertone. So putting this over the Champagne Pop really fits perfectly with my complexion contour the areas that get lost in the midst of the powder and the highlight. I'm going to take my mascara by Pure Cosmetics and put a little bit on my bottom lashes and blend my top lashes. 
So now we have our eyeshadow, foundation, and highlight complete. If you would like to take this time to go in and add a little bit of blush to make your cheeks rosy, you can go ahead and do that. I'm not too much of a fan of blush, but it definitely looks pretty on other people. Just gonna go ahead and move into the lips. To line my lips, I'm gonna go in with my Chestnut Lip Liner by MAC. And then you're gonna smooth them together to enclose the outside of the lips. I'm gonna go in with my heart and create a new lip. <laughs> Now you're just going to go back into your lip liner and clean up those edges. So now I'm just going to go in with my Butter Gloss by NYX in the shade Fortune Cookie, which is a really pretty new shade, and just put that over the top of my lippy. This is one of my favorite shades by NYX. And it's very, very popular. If you ever go and get this shade, make sure to stock up and get like about three because they're always out of stock. I'm gonna go back into my Ambition shade and just add a little bit of that to my brow bone. Extra you can also take some more of the Becca highlight by Champagne Pop and just take a big brush like this and just go on and add a little bit of highlight to your chest area just to give yourself some sparkle. Well, that completes this look. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give me a like, comment, and a thumbs up. Also, turn on your post notifications to make sure that you get a notification for the next time that I post. Until then, see you next time. Bye. Actually, we're not done yet. Don't forget to set your face. I'm using the Morphe Setting Spray. 